What's up YouTube, it's your boy Nash here, welcome back to the channel, and, and in today's WWE news video, there's actually quite a bit to talk about, because apparently, there's been rumors on WWE planning on going back on the road at uh, full time actually pretty soon, the status of money of of the next pay-per-view which will probably which I think will probably be after backlash uh money in the bank when exactly will Ron will we see Ronda Rousey return and why did Roderick Strong leave NXT last night so let's actually talk about that for a second because if you guys watched and if you guys watched NXT I think this past Tuesday you will know that uh that NXT has moved to Tuesdays, uh, which is now I, I think a full time thing because because of uh, because of the hockey season. But apparently, um, but apparently, apparently, Ro uh, apparently, Roger Strong leaving NXT. Um, his that decision came in the wake of what's been you know of what was going on. Involving Adam Cole and Kyle O'Reilly of the Undisputed Era, and that rivalry has been brewing, had been brewing for months ever since Kyle had lost to Finn Balor over the NXT Championship on two separate occasions. In fact, in fact, in fact, their first encounter was at, was actually at at Takeover Thirty One, and then their other, their second encounter. Was I believe at Vengeance Day? E no, no, it was. Uh... Sorry about that, guys. That was a email from my from my partners at the collector store. They actually are. They actually sent me my. Uh... They actually just sent me. They're mailing me. Uh, two mini boxes of Ghosts of the Past, which I'll be doing an opening pretty soon. I don't know when, but I'll be doing that pretty soon. But apparently, it was at the first time was at um, was at Takeover Thirty One. The second one was, I think, at if I remember correctly, I know it wasn't War Games. I know it wasn't War Games. I, I think it was. Was it Vengeance Day? I don't. I don't remember. No, it wasn't. It wasn't Ven. I. I don't think it was Ven. Vengeance. Day. I think it was Halloween Havoc. I think it was Halloween Havoc. Havoc, if I remember right. But um, no, no, no. Uh, New Year's Evil. New Year's Evil. That's what it was. New Year's Evil. It was an NXT New Year's Evil that uh, Kyle O'Reilly had lost again. But it all started basically at at Takeover Vengeance Day when Finn Balor. Uh, had defeated Pete Dunne to retain his title, and ended up, you know, and ended up getting his ass beat by by Pete Dunne, by Danny Burch, and by o Oni Lorcan, which allowed the Undisputed Era to come to come out to his rescue. And Kyle and Kyle had actually had thoughts on bringing Finn Balor into the Undisputed Era, given the fact that uh, Bobby Fish was taken out with an injury at War Games, and. And apparent and yeah, yeah, the other speed of air had dying down had dying down that night, but apparently, um but for those who don't know, Roger Strong had been a part of um had been a part of NXT since twenty sixteen when he debuted as Austin if you guys remember Austin Aries in in NXT he was Austin's tag partner in the Dusty Rose Tag Team Classic, and um, and honestly, given I mean, given the fact that that the rivalry between O'Reilly and Cole is has still yet to be determined, be, because that because that match at Takeover Stand and Deliver that was only one match. That was one match. You know Adam Cole is gonna be gunning for for him, but we know that Roderick Strong is done is done with NXT, and apparently, and apparently, um, as far as where 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 Roddy would go, Raw 
I'd, Raw or SmackDown would be obviously one of the would be two of the more obvious landing points. Although there is a, although there's been rumors of an upcoming NXT Evolve brand, which I don't know any, I don't know much about that. Uh, there's been there's there was there was a lot of rumors that that because that WWE had purchased Evolve the 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 promotion Evolve. There's, it's been rumored. It's been rumored that Evolve is now going to be, um, is now going to be a part of 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 WWE, and it's going to be turned into uh, obviously as you know as they you know as what we you know heard NXT Evolve. So I don't know if I don't know any more info info on that. If there is any more info, I will definitely let you guys know. But. Um, But it is going to be in. It is going to be interesting to see where he'll where where Roger 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 Strong will land. As so, you know, I mean, if I was Roddy, I would probably say go to Raw because he can because that way Roddy can go out can can go up against some of the best that Raw has to offer. You got Bobby Lashley, you got Mace, you got T Bar, you've got. Drew McIntyre, you've got Mustafa Ali. I think Slapjack is still on Raw. Uh, you've got as well the New Day, Omos, AJ Styles. Uh, lastly, I mentioned Randy Orton, the Fiend. So much talent on Raw, but on SmackDown you also have. But you do also have talent on SmackDown as well. You got you got Roman Reigns, Jey Uso. You got Daniel Bryan. You've got um, you've got Big E. You've got Sami Zayn, you've got Cesaro, Shinsuke Nakamura. These are just some of the big names that Roddy had faced over the years, including, including guys like, um, including guys like Shinsuke when he was still in NXT. So, as far as what the future holds for Roddy, honestly, I really don't know. Um, but given the fact that, given the fact that. Kyle O'Reilly and Adam Cole beat the hell, beat the holy hell out of each other last week at Takeover Stand and Deliver. I can't say that I'm surprised that Roddy ends ends up leaving NXT, but honestly, the honestly, I think the future looks really bright. It looks really bright for him. But with that being said, um, apparently, apparently, there's been more info leaked leaked as to when, um, as to when Ronda Rousey could potentially return, um. And apparently, um, apparently she says that, and, uh, and there was actually something, she was a part of some, like, like, news reporter, or reporter or something like that, called, apparently, it, it's called Table Talk, so big shout-outs to them, I don't want to get copyrighted, but big shout-out, um, uh, apparently, um, <laughs> um, Apparently, uh, Ronda had said, "quote I've I actually waited until this moment to tell everybody." Smiling, obviously she was smiling and laughing. I don't know when, I don't know when I'll return. When I feel like it, I'll come back. When I, I'll come back. When I feel like it, I'll come back. When I feel like it. Eventually, eventually when I, eventually when I feel like it. Literally, this she says when I feel like it. Um. Uh, in, par in parentheses, it says when Devon Dudley expressed a desire to produce one of her matches. Now I I feel like I have enough to pull enough pull to make a request. I keep thinking of some new stuff and I that I want to try. Um, so the last match that Ronda had it was actually at at WrestleMania 35 two years ago. Uh, when she defended the Raw Women's Championship against Charlotte Flair, who was defending the SmackDown Women's Championship against Becky Lynch, so, so, um, uh, so I guess I guess judging by what I guess judging by um, I guess judging by how 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 Ronda said it. It seems as if she's waiting for Becky Lynch Lynch to come back, but there was reports that she was, there were there were rumors and reports saying that she was scheduled, or or I guess said if you will, 
to come back to to WWE this past weekend at WrestleMania, which that did not happen. Um, as far as when when Becky Lynch will come back, we could see her at Money in the Bank, which that brings me to that. But um, honestly, when when Ronda comes back, you can bet your ass that the fans are going to boo the living hell out of her. I could definitely uh, see that uh, happening. But that being said, apparently uh, we have new info on uh, on what's on what's going to go on with Money in the Bank, and apparently it's good. Apparently, um, but apparently, apparently it was originally scheduled for May sixteenth, which was actually uh, which apparently that did not come to pass because WWE had announced this past Monday on Raw. That we're gonna have WrestleMania backlash, which will take place on that night, May 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 sixteenth. Uh, but we found out that according, but we found out that according to some some reports, there's been there's been reports that it'll take place on June twentieth, which will be the next pay per view after that, um, which was obviously the day that backlash was supposed to have taken took in place, but. Um, I guess I guess they switched they they switched the shows around the shows around but the dates are still the same. We now know that at WrestleMania Backlash it'll be Drew McIntyre challenging Bobby Lashley for the WWE Championship, and it's interesting because last because at last year's Backlash, uh, let me go go back to my little to my book over here, which literally my book is almost full. My book literally is almost full. After doing this for so for so long, my book is damn near full. I'm, I'm gonna have to get a new one pretty soon. Um, I but if you if you guys recall, at Backlash last year, um, um, Drew Drew uh Drew McIntyre ended up defeating Bobby Lashley, um. With uh, with the help of Lana, actually, with the help of Lana, Drew McIntyre ended up hitting hitting Bobby Lashley with a claymore to retain the WWE Championship. That was obviously when Lashley and Lana were were in this you know were in the whole marriage storyline and whatnot. If you guys remember that chaos, um, and yeah, so if McIntyre won last year. You can bet your ass he'll probably end up winning this year, but the tables could turn and Lashley could could retain. Um, but if you guys also remember at last year's Money in the Bank, uh, we saw the com we saw the competitors in both the men's and the women's matches uh, beating the hell hell of, out, out of each other throughout WWE headquarters in Stanford. In which, if I remember right, let me go back. In fact, I think that was the first match post WrestleMania, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, that was the first match post WrestleMania, and the women that were in that match you had Asuka, Shayna Baszler, Nia Jax, Dana Brooke, Lacey Evans, and Carmella. On the men's side of things, you had Daniel Bryan, Alistair, Bla Al Alistair Black, Rey Mysterio, King Corbin, Otis, and AJ Styles. We found out on 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 that night. Um, Asuka ended up winning the women's Money in the Bank briefcase um, with the help of Elias hitting Corbin with with the guitar. Otis ended up winning, or I guess AJ Styles for that matter. Um, o Otis ended up winning winning the briefcase when the briefcase just landed on on landed in, in his hands. But the next night, but the next night on Raw, we found out that Becky Lynch ended up having to actually had to. Relinquished the title, her Raw Women's Championship, which land which landed in Oscar's briefcase. Yeah, Oscar's briefcase, and she and that was when she announced her pregnancy. Obviously, Otis ended up losing the briefcase at Money in the Bank, or or, or actually, um, 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 I, I think it was at Hell in a Cell. Miz, Miz ended up defeating, defeating Otis. Obviously, with Tucker turning his back, we all know. But, but yeah. So, um, so apparently, so that all happened last year. This year, 
I don't know, man. This it seems in it seems going to be in interesting, but yeah. So, so, so Money in the Bank will will take place on June twentieth, from what I understand. There, there, there'll probably be more info on that at some point, but we will find. But we will find out once we get to WrestleMania Backlash. But now let's talk. But now the last thing I want to talk about is obviously WWE going back on tour. Um. And apparently, uh, and apparently, in a in a interview with with the president of the WWE, Nick Khan, um, uh, he states that there that that there are plans, uh, but uh, he does. But uh, apparently, uh, but. Because that it was WrestleMania, and that the fans ha has come in, they are looking to uh, go back on tour. Honestly, as far as when we could see them go back on tour, we could potentially see. I don't know. I don't know. That's kind of in, that's kind of interesting. Um, that's kind of interesting. But given given the fact that we've been under a pandemic for so long. I think it's been why I, I think having you know live you know having fans attend more and more and more shows at some point I think would probably be the best thing. Um, would would probably be would probably be awesome, but at this point you never know you 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 never know. Um, but apparently there are apparently apparently there's been rumors that that. SummerSlam in August is going to have paying fans at at the same capacity that we that that they had for WrestleMania. Which honestly, that is incredible. That would probably that would be awesome to see. That would be uh, very really awesome to see. But at this point, you never know. You but honestly, you never know what can happen. It's the WWE. Any anything can happen. Honestly, if they go back on tour in August, that would probably be their best bet. Um, given the fact that, uh, given the fact that they've, they have not been on tour at all in 2020. In a way, they kind of were on tour because they went from the Performance Center all the way to the Thunderdome inside the Amway Center in, in Orlando, in, I think, was it Orlando? Yeah, yeah, in Orlando. Then 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 went over to to Tropicana Field in um, in Tampa. Then went to Raymond James Stadium, you know, for obviously obviously for for you know for WrestleMania inside in you know in Tampa, and now moving into um, you know now moving into. Um, to the campus of the University of South Florida, which obviously the U, which obviously they're calling it, I believe it's the Yulene Center. But guys, that is going to do it for this video. Again, I don't even know. I don't know when exactly they'll go back on tour, but um, but to be honest, seeing fans inside Raymond James Stadium was super cringe, in my personal opinion. But I will, but I will, I will say, I will say this though: if we do see fans back, you can definitely, you're gonna definitely see a lot of fans compared to what, what, what we saw at WrestleMania. We could very may well see a semi full capacity because with 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 WrestleMania both nights, I I think we had what I think it was what like twenty. Five thousand fans, I believe, which wasn't too bad. It it it, it wasn't too bad, honestly. But given the fact that they had to only do it at, at a half capacity because of the pandemic, I don't blame them. But I mean, who knows? Who the hell knows? But guys, that is going to do it for this video. Question of the day: What are your guys' thoughts on? Or you know why I was gonna do do a question that involved this video, but I've got something better. Question of the day: What were you What were you guys' thoughts 
on the Raw after WrestleMania this past Monday? Let me know in the comments below, and that is going to do it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you guys smash the thumbs up button if you guys are new to the channel and you guys want to see more WWE news videos, which will get posted every Thursday. Make sure you guys hit the subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you guys do not miss out on any new content that comes your way. And be sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. All the links will be down in the description below. And if you guys uh, have any fan mail that you want to send me and want me to open up on the channel, my address will also be in the description as well. And on that, this is your boy Nash, signing out.